So, important rin na you know that market segment. Kasi once you get that clear, then the next steps will be more successful. Mm. So, number one is the market. Number two, of course, just like any other business, you are trying to solve a problem. What is a problem? They are families or individuals that is looking for value for money property in the location that is ideal for them. Mm. And that is what you will provide. Okay, hey guys, so Carly just bought a property here in Barcelona. I want to ask this for Filipinos that want to make money from rentals in the Philippines. What should be their strategy in 2022 to be a successful property investor making money from rentals? Pag bibili ka pala ng property, you analyze the target renter. So identify your target renter. Just like when you're opening a business, you're opening a barbershop. Who's your target market ng barbershop? Lalaki, from ages ganon to ganon, they can afford 300 pesos per gupit, that is your target market in what area. So when you buy a property for rental, you also identify is it universities, student market, is it a BPO working market, is it an expat market, is it a local family market, is it a single, is it a couple, is it a retiree market, is it an Airbnb. So it's important rin na you know that market segment. Kasi once you get that clear, then the next steps will be more successful. Mm. So number one is the market. Number two, of course, just like any other business, you are trying to solve a problem. What is the problem? They are families or individuals that is looking for value for money property in the location that is ideal for them. Mm. And that is what you will provide. How do you know that solution to that problem? It's in simple. Oh, maganda yung location to. How's the methodology behind it? Just to exaggerate a bit, no? if your property is in an MRT Angkor development, uy, may, may MRT. You cannot say na, uy, I wanna buy this property kasi paparin ko sa expat kasi may MRT. So you see the disparity in the strategy, no? How do you know na the market is there? I think research, experience, you have that awareness na that is the questions that you will ask. Mm. But it's so different from opening up a business, di ba? So, if you're gonna open a Japanese restaurant, you also wanna ask, who is the target market? What is their salary? Can they afford my 350 peso to 500 per meal mm. na dish? So, no different from uh, property investment. Ganun lang din, Mark. Just like a business. Is there a more attractive segment to target right now in 2022 in terms of rentals? Maybe for yourself or for people watching this, if you're starting from scratch, what will you target? If you are betting that the university market will go back to school, university market, I think it's a clear-cut market segment. They will stay there for four years, maybe galing sila sa probinsya. The target customer is not the student, the target customer is their parents. Mm. So you have to make sure your checklist pasado sa parents nila, either it is safe, there's security, there is visiting hours, there's a limitation, it's walkable to school, safe in that route. Those are your criteria for your university target market. Another target market na very clear is the expat market segment. Kasi alam mong expat at some point, they will rent. Most probably they stay for 4, 5, 6 years, up to 10 years maximum on the high side. And most probably they will not buy and they will just keep on renting kasi that's how their salary is packaged. So the expat market, the university market is a clear market segment market. Okay, I'm curious about this. We talked about rentals now and from your personal experience, what has been the most memorable rental opportunity for you? Or at least yung pinaka, sabi mo, talagang sobrang galing ko sa rentals because of this deal that I got. Is there anything that happened in the past like that? When people ask me, Carl, what is your most memorable rental property? It's definitely the first one. Okay. It's my first one that was 1.5 million ish, somewhere there. Super liit lang na property, off center in Quezon City, not high end, second hand. I made like 10,000 a month to 12,000, not so significant amount. But why is it memorable? Because that's where I learned all the strategies. That's where I made my first mistake. And that's where I kind of learned everything so that you can build it up. Mm. towards having more rental properties and bigger size properties. Given that's going on right now, what should be their strategy also? Interest rates are higher. How can they be more flexible also that property prices are higher, interest rates are higher? What can they do also para at least kumita also? Siyempre, they have to earn more than whatever interest they're paying. Should be the strategy for that also. The strategy right now, try to also consider those not super expensive, not at the prime, medyo yung upcoming 
somewhere outskirts, somewhere the development is upcoming and the price is not too expensive. If you're after the rental market, just really identify if the market segment is there and there is demand and there is not so much supply. So that market segment, if you are worried, then don't go for condos. You can always go for land, you can always go for apartment. I guess right now, landed properties is a safer bet at this point. Is there such a thing as ano, a wrong real estate rental investment? That is a very good question, Marv. In our previous video, I kind of advise that we avoid generalizing. When your property is not tenanted, there are many reasons why it's not tenanted. I'll break it down for you. So is it because walang market segment? I think naman at certain point, there will be at least one person for your one unit. So, you know, at least one. Dr. Noel, this is for you. Number two question you ask yourself, is your unit priced fairly? It's very funny how we as owners, we want to price our property high because we want to make more. But if we are the one looking, we also want something more affordable. So it's the same person, you want something high, but ikaw naman naghahanap, you want value for money. So you have to marry that together and create a win-win price point versus value. Number three is, did you interior furnish it well? Meaning if it's a bare unit, it's gonna be hard to compete with your neighbor that is uh, kahit pa paano, IKEA furnish. And it's gonna be so much harder to compete with somebody who has design taste and pinaganda talaga niya unit niya, what they call it, Instagrammable. Lastly, the most important question is, we as the owner, are we doing anything about it? Are we advertising our property that's available for rent? It's so different from, for example, Marvin will bake a banana bread, but hindi naman niya na advertise na he's selling banana bread. So it will not move. So it's not fair to say Barnabin Guillermo's banana bread is not selling. Therefore, it's not delicious. Indeed, because it's not properly advertised. Guys, I have my six steps to renting out your condo. It's a book, but because of the pandemic, it's now an ebook, and you can get it for free for all the subscribers of Marvin Guillermo. Just go to Facebook group, uh, type in Creating Wealth, Carl B, join. And you get access to the free ebook, Six Steps to Renting Out Your Condo. Well said. So I'll put the links in the description below. So if there's one thing I got from this is there's a lot of opportunity still, even if interest rates are high, inflation is high, and then you have to deal with picking and be selective on the properties that you're getting. So thank you so much, Carl D, for joining us. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon. God bless you all.